to be back in this room with all of the students, all of the university students and the high school students on stage to present our 12th annual Honor Flute Choir concert. So we have worked our fingers off in these last six weeks in preparing tonight's concert for you. Welcome. So last year, if, if you were involved or had a child involved, we didn't get to meet like this. Instead, we got together one afternoon in, I think it was October or November, and we met on the amphitheater in the Green Belt. And we just played one little song together, and we had some hot chocolate and some cookies, and we were able to get our favorite t-shirts and come together and see each other. 
And so much in our world has taken place in the last year that thankfully has allowed us to come together safely and productively to present this concert to you. So I am so proud of them and my university students. You might hear me say that more than once tonight. <laughs> um, and I'm so glad that you are here. So tonight we are gonna kick off the concert and we're gonna celebrate all of our hard work. And we are gonna start with Silver Celebration by Catherine McMichael. envision what this would look like in July and August, I still didn't know. And in September, I still didn't know. And at the end of September, I thought, okay, we can do this. I had everything organized. And if you look at your program, you might see a story emerging, <laughs> right? We're celebrating, and the next piece is math. And masks have been a part of all of our journeys as we come back into a world together where we can stand by each other. And if you notice, everybody has a different mask on. Some of the masks are store-bought and paper. Paper ones have a cut so that they can put the instrument into their face. 
some of these larger cream colored ones are called Broadway maps, I think, which are more on the professional side. Some schools have given them to all students. They stand a further off the face and they're easier to put them slide in. Some of these masks I have sewn or a student of mine has sewn by hand. Some of these masks are new to me. I've not seen before. Their band directors have found them online. You have found them online. And because we have been I, what is the word? Resilient, purposeful. We have been able to find a way to come back together in our schools and here on stage to play for you masks. So please enjoy hearing us play for you with our masks on Masks by Ann McGinty. Um, our big flutes have very long head joints that are curved and we the flute sticks inside the right side it doesn't stick in the left so I had to invent um, this lovely mask that the students are trying to get used to and you'll see many of them changing into them and this way we were able to use the big flutes in our concert thank you Miranda
mentioned, at the beginning of the concert last year, we came together for an outdoor concert. And we were playing 10 feet apart from each other because that was our CDC recommendation in instrumental music to be 10 feet apart while blowing and singing. Now, we were masked, we were shielded, and 10 feet apart, and outside. We were as safe as we could be. But the song we played was Stand By Me. And it's the only piece I picked for last year because that's the only message I had. It was the only wish I had. So tonight, you're gonna hear us standing by each other. You're gonna have the university students on the sides. You're gonna have us up at front. And you must have the lyrics, please, mom and dad. <laughs> You got the lyrics, all right? Nobody can see your mouths moving. So we don't think that you're singing, it's okay, right? But I'm gonna sing my best. I'm a professional flutist. You know, this is one of my favorite songs and I want you to join with us, okay? And I'll cue you. Yep, you'll see me cueing everyone. And we're just gonna have fun, yep, here we go. Can everyone see me on the sides, everybody? Okay, are you good? Here we go. One, two, a one, two, and up.
I've never had to sing along at flute choir, so thank you for doing that with me. It is a fun, just something fun that we all can enjoy. techniques as well as another funky beat in Walk Like This by Ian Clark. So it is our tradition in this big flutes cases. Can someone grab the big flute case and drop this down? Yep. It is our tradition and honor flute choir to always do something like a wild card. Stand by me could have been but I had to push it one little bit further. And this is called stand by, or walk like this. So we're gonna move a little bit. We're gonna get a little funky beat. We're gonna make some extended sounds and not necessarily key kick clicks, but you're gonna hear singing and playing. You're gonna hear lots of whooshing sounds. You're gonna hear overblown trills and things like that. And it's just a great, fun piece. Ian Clark is a flutist, in, a British flutist and composer, and he's got some really fun stuff. And I'm so glad to share this next piece, Walk Like This.
to wait to do honor flute choir till after D3. But all of the students come knowing what the term press box means, <laughs> which means pop your flutes up to the press box, right? And so but they were able to, to roll with me a little bit on our maybe not so marching band moves, but still some fun nonetheless. So next, we're going to get some university students moving here. High school students move back. We need to move those three chairs up and over. If you just give us a moment. Okay, so I'll try to talk a little bit louder. So you're noticing that between every piece, we move a lot. And that is because I believe it is very important that as a flute choir, everyone, if they would like, gets to play a big flute, the bass or the alto. If they want to play piccolo, we can rotate it around. And in the band, the flute always gets the melody and it's always on top. But I must say, it is quite fun to play the bass line sometimes. And so being able to move from part to part is a very important aspect of this group and the experience that we have. Learning to hear an inner voice and how that fits in with the melody and the bass line gives us more experience than just the flute part in the band. So today, or right now, the university students are joining us for the second time. And we're going to be playing For the Beauty of the Earth by John Rutter. How many of you know John Rutter through singing in choirs or maybe attending hymns of Thanksgiving? You may have heard some things there. Yeah. John Rutter, and if you want to go home and listen to more of this, just put his name in YouTube or iTunes or Spotify, anything, and you'll hear his exquisite choral music. So For the Beauty of the Earth is actually a choir piece. I first learned this piece when I was a sophomore in high school singing the alto line. And my dear friend, Matt Johnston, who owns Allery Publications, um, wrote this arrangement for flute chorus, which is alto, soprano, tenor, bass, and flute choir. And flute choir has the moving notes and the flute chorus has the vocal lines. The high school students tonight will be playing the vocal lines and the university students will be accompanying them with the flute choir piece. So this is just kind of a, um, a lovely insertion, just a nice little meditative piece for the beauty of the earth by John Rutter and arranged by Matt Johnston.
pretty amazing how much sound a flute choir and a flute chorus can make. And I, halfway through, I thought, don't look at everybody <laughs> because it's so amazing. I had to keep my ears open and my eyes had to go inward. I would love to have seen from your perspective all of those flutes playing. So we're coming to our end. It's a little bit of a quick program, but you see we punch a lot of power into our piccolos and our flutes here. So the last piece, I wanted to end as we started, and that was with a celebration, but we'll end with a fiesta instead with flute fiesta. And as we're finalizing our latest transition here, I, I need to thank all of you, whether you're a flute teacher, a parent, a family member, a friend, a band director, a music educator, or just a lover of flute. Thank you for bringing your children here to this campus. Thank you for finding ways to make your schedules work, to take them to flute lessons, to take them to marching band. This is a small part of their high school experience and I am honored to be a part of that. I always enjoy seeing them every year, hearing them grow, watching them grow. There's a lot of students up here who've been playing in the Honor Flute Choir for a long time, right? How many of you have been, is this your first year? Yeah, second year, third year, fourth year, fourth year, right? And last year, even through everything and all of our challenges, we still kept our community of flute playing going. And it is just you I need to be thankful to share my appreciation with. It is hopefully we are in a place where next year, hopefully, we can be in a place where we can play together where you can see our bright, beautiful faces and hear all of the richness in our sound and our music without our final barrier. And until then, we're just gonna have to fiesta with our masks on. So please enjoy this final piece, Flute Fiesta, and thank you so much. One last thing. <laughs> uh, I, since this is our last piece, and I know it's going to go crazy at the end, I do want to tell you that at the end, and after we congratulate our wonderful musicians, we'll take a picture on stage, and we will sit, and you'll be able to um, snap a group shot of us looking a little bit more formal, um, and I'll share a few more details at the end, but thank you.
thank you so much. Such a joy. So what I would like to do is get the flute, the students here. Um, John, maybe light if we can. And thank you. And um, that lives in my office all year. And I will bring this back to the band room where you can grab your flute students and if they would like to get a silly little picture with this or if you would like a picture with the flute, um, you can. But uh, why don't you guys cuddle in just a little bit closer so we can stand by each other. pictures and then we may have the university I'd love for the university students if anyone doesn't mind in a minute come and join us I love it what should we what do we say we always want to try to smile right so let's say one two three flutes yeah one, two, three. Flutes. Yeah. 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 Nice. <laughs> All right, university students, can you come and just join us on the floor here? the students all exit back here if you exit upstairs and take either the elevator or the stairs down and then go straight back B B 125 we'll meet you there 